Hi guys, welcome back. This is Deepesh from Freshersworld.com. So today we'll be seeing uh, loops and also some conditional statements. So one uh, conditional statement which is switch case is quite different from what we use in Java. So firstly, I'll just explain you how we write a simple switch case in Java and then we see the same using Kotlin so that you have a difference. So basically if I declare a day has one and if I try to write a switch case for this, I write it as switch and then it comes to me like uh, switch key so I can make it as day and value has one then I want to return or I want to print it's Monday so this is a simple switch case in Java so I'm just making the screen big so I declared my day as one and we have a respective case uh, statement in case of uh, Java. So you, I can have another case where case two, then in that case I can declare it as, it's Tuesday. I'll just take the default. So I now run this program, we can just see the output. So it's Monday and Tuesday. So this is a simple switch case. We have a switch and we have the case conditions that we can write. So in, in Kotlin, we have a different way of writing a switch case. Everyone wants to go to IIT or IIM in India because who doesn't want good jobs and salary? An average IIT or IIM graduate has at least one good job offer after college. But you should also have this opportunity because your skills define your career, not your degree or resume. Thanks to Relevel by Anakami, you can get placed in the top companies in India purely on the basis of your skills. Actually, Relevel has delivered 1000 job offers in less than a year. This is higher than what single IITs or IIMs can offer in a year. Yes, top companies provide the best jobs across India through one platform. More than 60 crores worth of jobs has been delivered from Relevel till today. You're just one test away from your dream job. You can take jobs in 11 different categories like sales, tech, product management, HR through Relay2. Book your slot for the test by going today. The link is there in the description. Now, there are also Relevel courses available for you. Be it fresher or working professional in all 11 test categories, you can upskill yourself for it. This is the best time to invest in your career. You have access to a platform that can help you upskill with the best courses and provide you with the best job that you deserve. All you have to do is go to the course section on Relevel and fill the admission form. Speak with your allotted academic counselor. Understand more about the course of your interest and what will be expected from you. Get your offer letter within a few days. Pay your fees and instantly start your journey towards a better career. And also a good surprise from Relevel for you. Relevel is back with Relevel Select event which is starting from 10th August to 14th August where you will be able to win exciting goodies like iPhone mini gift card etc. Remember one thing the link is there in the description right away book your slot. All the best from the Relevel team 800 plus companies are waiting for you. So I can use when and then I can say the case. So here my day I can tell it like this. So now I have to declare day so I make my day as one so now here uh, the same thing like I have just declared uh, an integer which is of type var again it types it takes an integer by default since Kotlin hand handles it so I have when instead of switch case in Java so this is the difference so now how do I handle the case statement so if it is one then I need to print it has uh, it's Monday so let me run this program and then see yeah, it's Monday. A simple switch case in Java and Kotlin is quite similar, but we have a different syntax. So instead of switch, we use when. Instead of the case, we use uh, the actual uh, variable that we want to check with. So again, one important uh, feature that we have in uh, Kotlin is we can just check if it is an integer. So is int. So if the input type is of int, then we can return, yes, it's an integer. So I can write, it's an integer. We can also check the data types in switch cases in Kotlin. So, so we have both the things. So this is one, it's Monday. So if I just comment this out and try to run. So since it's an integer, it's executing me isn't. So you can pass multiple uh, types and then check. So I, I'll explain this more in detail. So I'll declare a method which can take in any argument and then we can see the extensive functions of switch case. So I make a function called uh, check switch 
have so I take the parameters as value and it, has, it is of type any it is of type any so that I can pass any arguments to this method so now I'll write the switch case so now it's value so basically if it is an integer it prints it it's a it's an integer so if it is so I'll just take off these things so I write it out of my main method so now I can pass any value so my first condition if it is one then it's Monday so or else I pass some other value to my switch that is five in this case the output should be it's an integer so let's try and check it so it's an integer so in the case that I pass one it should be it's Monday so I can pass any data type so I'd also pass some string the page so I can have another condition a string then print ln it's string so let me try both the cases in the first case it's Monday and in the second case it's integer so I'll just correct it it's an integer so I'll comment out the first method and then now string so basically uh, in Kotlin we can use uh, is integer or is an int so this can be handled as part of switch cases in Kotlin so we can handle the default case in Kotlin using the else statement so the input does not belongs to any of these uh, case statements then I can just print the input does not belong to the input does not belong to any of the case statements belong to any of the case statements with a double quote so now let's try passing a boolean here which is false then we'll see what's the output so the input does not belong to any of the case statements so this is the output so basically in Kotlin we can check different data types has int or different case statements can be added and this is the flexibility of a switch statements in Kotlin so stay updated on our video so we'll see more on loops if conditions going forward thank you mm -hmm.